Hello everyone, it is Craig and Rhino here at Universal City Walk. And we are here to finally get out and try Voodoo Donut. Mm. Yeah, it opened up unfortunately while we were right at the start of our Italy trip. Yeah. I think we were still in Rome when I saw that it opened. And of course it couldn't have been worse timing uh, considering how excited we've been for this to finally open up. But we're back. A treat, on, a treat to come back to. Exactly. We're on that U.S. turf, and we're ready to go get some premium-made Oregon United States donuts. Uh-huh. America. Yeah, so we're going to go pop in line, get in the store, check it all out, see what the options are, go from there. We're inside. And I can tell you, it smells real good in here. Oh, yeah, it does. And it looks cool. It's so tall. Yeah, I don't... I don't understand why their building is so big. Yeah, maybe they have something going on up there that we don't know about, but it is like super high, but Gosh. because of that, it's able to be like themed just yeah. really uniquely. There's so much to look at in here. It's, is that Carrot Top? It looks like Carrot Top. <laughs> I don't know if it is, but it looks like it. Okay, Rhino, so what do we get? Okay, we got six. We got the ODB, this guy right here. Grape Ape, this guy over here. Vegan P, B, and J. I forget that this one is. Mexican hot, 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 hot chocolate. chocolate. Fang Trastic, Fang Tastic. Tang Fastic. Tang Fastic. I knew there was something that looked like Fang. And a Voodoo Man, the classic with a little Voodoo pretzel. Doll. Now these are for me. I don't know what Craig got for himself. I'm going around the pole. Yeah. Well, you gotta make the money to get the donuts, am I right? You know, you know. Okay, which one do you want to try first, Craig? I'm gonna let you vote in here. Um. Oh, what do we think is gonna be the least impressive? Uh, okay, I think ODP looks really good, so I'm gonna put him aside. I'm excited okay. about vegan PB and J, and the of course the. I think we should do the Voodoo Man last. Okay. And so, so let's do grape first. Let's start with the grape. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to do this because I have two forks and no knife, but classy. I'm just gonna cut a little piece out. Oh, Ooh, I broke him. Probably not supposed to do this. Oh, we can start ripping if we have to. Yeah, I, I washed my hands like literally two seconds ago. Oh no. Oh no. Jeez. Okay, so handle with care. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick these guys back up, put them back on here, get a little sprinkle. I'm gonna tell you, first thing, right away, great flavor, really positive, definitely just in the frosting. The donut, um, the actual cake on this is... Yeast. I'm sorry, what now? It's a yeast donut. Okay. And so it is just so fluffy and soft and just like, this might actually be the perfect texture of donut. I know, I mean, I'm, I'm a Dunkin' Donuts guy. Those are where my donuts live. Um, this is like the gourmet donut to me, but it is so good, it's so fluffy, so nice. It's like, I don't, I don't know. I bit into this and I felt like I was a kid eating this freeze pop out by the upground pool, the above ground pool in the backyard of the babysitter's house. But you tell me if you have that same reaction. My turn to go with the grape ape. As I corrected you, this one's a raised yeast donut, so it's, like you said, it's the fluffy ones. Uh, it also has vanilla frosting, grape dust, and lavender sprinkles. That's oh. what makes it up, so. Like you said, oh, it's a crispy. It's extra fancy. Yeah, it looks like it should just be like, kind of glossed on there, like a typical Dunkin' Donut frosted yeah. one, but. It's definitely a hard frosting. The shock of a grape is delicious. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, I'm a, uh, I'm a grape person. I know a lot of people don't like it because it tastes like cough syrup. And I think some people might have this complaint with this one. Actually, it tastes exactly like the cough syrup I got yeah. when I was a kid, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> but I like it still, so I think we should try out the next one, and since we're already on the fruity spectrum of things, we should go for the tang -fastic. I agree. I think this is gonna be tangtastic. The tang -fastic, this one's a plain cake donut with vanilla frosting, tang, that's the, tang. the orange powder, and then the three marshmallows. Where's the fang come from? There's tang -fastic. I think it's. I think it's like a play on Fantastic. Yeah, but with tang. tang. Wouldn't it be tangtastic? Yeah, but it's, oh. you have to find the F from somewhere. I get you. Yeah. 
This one, because it's a cake, it's much easier to cut. So, oh, that so this is like regular. Like this, this is your more like yeah. This is donut. this is your classic donut, the kind that you would get like deep fried right in front of you at the fair. These are my favorite types of donuts. I love cake donuts. So this is more like the Dunkin' Donuts donut. Mm -hmm. Dunkin' does a lot of yeast donuts. Yeah. I'm just not a huge fan. Love cake. The cake, it's like your box of Entenmann's that you'll get in the grocery store. <laughs> I really like this. It's a complete opposite spectrum of the grape ape, where you have the grape cough syrup flavor here. You have that bursting with orange flavor. When you add the marshmallow on it, it kind of turns into an orange creamish. It's good. I'll hand it over to you now, Rhino. I did, yeah, this the donut profile of flavor is much different. Much like you said, cake, but a little more dense. Still nice and fluffy though for me. And is this flavor out of the world like tang? I don't know. I see what you're talking about with the tang and the and the. Um, the vanilla frosting creating like it definitely I get that creamsicle flavor. Yeah. Um I think I like the grape one better though. Because the grape one is like bursting with grape flavor. And I think I, I kind of expected tang to be like that because anybody who's had like tang, you know it's it is that it is exactly it's a what kick that word is. In yeah. The glass. Yeah, and a kick in the glass. There you go. Oh, lost a match. Just littered. Um this one's not so much a kick in the glass. It's more it's a little more tame. So if you're worried about this one being maybe too tart or too Whatever, it's a little more subtle, still very delicious. I think the next one I'm gonna go for though is this Mexican hot chocolate. Yeah? You okay yeah. with that one? Feeling hot. Mexican hot hot hot, 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 hot. Is that what it's called? Mexican yeah. hot 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 hot? Three hot? hots in the chocolate. Three hots, okay. I was expecting it to be like burning my mouth open with the amount of chocolates I was yeah. gonna have here. It's a chocolate cake donut and it is topped with cinnamon sugar powder and a cayenne pepper powder. Yeah, and you can you can really smell that cinnamon sugar. I love the smell of cinnamon sugar. Um, well, here we go. Man, the donuts themselves, like, get away from all the flavor, just the actual donut is cooked so well. And I'm talking, this is a place that has line out the door, you know, and you think, I kind of hope it never suffers from this, because these are some of the best donuts I've ever had. Now that I've said that, this, this, the Mexican hot chocolate, like, chocolate donut, I'm, I'm a little, um, Okay, the spice is starting to get to me now a little bit. I couldn't taste it at first, and now it's there. So it's more of a hint. It's not as spicy as I expected with three hots in the title. I probably would have just called it Mexican hot chocolate, not hot, hot, hot chocolate. But uh, I'll let you decide on that one, Craig, because you, you like spicy things. But I think I could use use one more, one more sprinkle of the cayenne pepper. That's just me, though. I agree with your initial assessment. There's really no heat right away. Yeah. It's about a five second creep, and by that, it takes about five seconds, and then you get that little bit, but I completely agree with you. It's still not enough. It yeah. does have that pepper feeling, but I like a good like Aztec ice cream, where it's the chocolate ice cream with the, the really, really, really um, spiciness to it. And this is just a little weak on the spiciness. It might be my favorite so far, though, because I love a good chocolate cake donut. So, I'll, I'll decide on that. Right now, I don't know, Tang might edge it out, but I'm gonna go for, go back to the yeast side of things and go with the ODB. The ODB is massive. <laughs> it's the yeast donut topped with uh, chocolate icing, Oreos, and then a peanut butter drizzle. Mm -mm -mm. So, this one, I mean, it, it feels unique, but at the same time, when you have so many odd and interesting things happening at Voodoo, I don't know how unique this one actually is, but I can already tell it's super soft and fluffy again, just like the other yeast ones, so I think we're in for a treat. Oh, dropped an Oreo. How dare you. Okay, wow. That's really good. Basically, the, the number one flavor I got in my mouth, that combination, is when you dip an Oreo into a thing of peanut butter and you have the the Oreo peanut butter. It, oh my God, Rhino, get in on this. I'm excited for this one because I like the idea of the you doing the yeast donut, like so the soft donut with like the crunchy Oreo. I feel like this is gonna be a good texture one for me because I like crunch. I also love peanut butter. 
Oh, you're gonna love this. Okay, so when we were at Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood in 2017, they were selling Voodoo Donuts, not a Voodoo Donut, but inside the park at Kiosk, and they had a Captain, or not Captain Crunch, a Fruit Loops one, and I, this was my first Voodoo Donut, and I bit into it, and the Fruit Loops was like, stale. And I was like, oh, I hope this isn't what we expect from this. This Oreo has the freshest Oreo on it. Like, it feels like they probably just made this for us right when we ordered it. So it's cr nice, that crunchy feeling, and that peanut butter really does hit you right away. I was worried there wasn't going to be enough peanut butter, because you know how yeah. I feel about peanut butter. But it, like, I took a bite of this, and I already said the other one made me feel like a kid, but this one, it just, like, you immediately have this little, like, flash of being a just a kid dunking Oreos and stuff like that. And like, I don't know. It just, it really did something for me emotionally. Good. But I have a feeling that it's now peanut butter jelly time. It is peanut butter jelly time. Hmm. What's kind of cool about Voodoo Donuts down here is that they have a lot of vegan selections. Um, I, I mean, we saw quite a number of them. There might have been almost 10 of them or something like that. But, and what's kind of neat is they're not all the same flavors, I don't think. So we saw one that was vegan peanut butter and jelly, and I love anything peanut butter and jelly flavored. Ironically, I hate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but I'm excited. So it looks like a... Is this a yeast donut? It's probably a cake donut, right? I don't remember. Well, no, one well, no, it's, to it. I think it's different because it's vegan, so it has different... No, that has nothing to do with the flour. I was, think, I was thinking of gluten-free. This might be one where we just have to rip. Yeah. It's a jelly donut. I'm trying to get a little bit of the peanuts. There's the inside if you want to see. A little off-center with the jelly. Not quite as much jelly as I expected to be 100% yeah. honest with you. But peanuts on here. Some milk would have helped. <laughs> a lot of peanuts. No, well, peanut and then your bread and then you're like, hmm. Yeah. Actually, I think milk with this would have been perfect because it would definitely remind me, again, you know, your bagged lunches. Um, but it's like the peanut butter with the donut just really makes it taste like you are eating that peanut. I think I do think it needs a lot more jelly. This is not my favorite of all the donuts that are here. I, I love the peanut butter on it. Um, the texture of the donut is different from the other two that we've had so far. Um, not bad, and I, I don't, I have, I'm not highly experienced in vegan donuts per se, but I. I don't think that you would be completely disappointed if you tried this. So, Craig, you'll have to weigh in and tell me what you think. Look at all that okay. peanut butter. We looked it up really quickly. I'm just gonna rip it. <laughs> no, but get the part with the jelly. You gotta get the jelly. Yeah. Well, it's not under the peanuts. That's the problem. There. Oh, there you go. There's, I think I, I got. There's more in there than it looks like. Cause now I can see it underneath. Yeah. Too. I think I got a fair selection here. Mmm. Turn away. Mm. Mm. I'm so attractive. So you're right. Uh, I'm glad that they have the vegan options. And I think vegans would be happy to know that they can they can have this donut. And I think it's it's really well made and it tastes delicious. The peanut butter is good when you get the, the raspberry jelly on the inside in there. It's nice. Uh, it's just, it is. For people who don't eat vegan on a regular basis, I think the texture of the donut would be a little just strange at the beginning but it, it's really nice I, I I'm glad that the option is there but that leads us to the grand finale of our donutting today the voodoo doll he's a yeast voodoo doll donut uh, topped with chocolate obviously as you can see a little pretzel steak and on the inside raspberry jelly oh raspberry <laughs> Oh, owies. Help me. <laughs> he's in pain. Now he's in your mouth. Oh. Holy what? jelly. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a lot of jelly. Compared to the other one. Rhino, I'm, I'm worried that I just took all the jelly that's in there. <gasps> you did! <laughs> you I'm hoping there's more in there. some of that in there. Oh, don't do it, actually. It was in your mouth. <laughs> Let me just rip off an don't arm. I want to kill him. Let me... Okay, well, we found where all the jelly is in the donut. It's in his lower half. Luckily, there's... We can still do some dissections. Rhino and I... How many times have we laid in the tramp crap? It's okay. <laughs> I already... 
I already ordered another one of these to go. Um, yeah, so did I for Kylie. And the good news is she's gonna get to eat this one all. I know it's her signature one because of the voodoo doll. Man, he's cute. I don't like the combination of fruit and chocolate. Hmm. And so the raspberry and chocolate just doesn't do it for me. But again, the donut is perfectly well made. Rhino, I'll let you try it. What little bit you can. They put all the raspberry in his butt. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some jelly. I'm gonna score. I feel like I'm literally performing some sort of voodoo right now. I'm gonna get it on this guy up here. Why didn't I just eat that piece? Okay, well, okay. Well, I'm a child. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I've never been more embarrassed for myself. Mm. I think he's a fried donut, right? No. Are you 100% sure? Because feel the edge of this, it's crispy. It might be. Well, I don't, so, um, I don't know, there was something about the texture of the donut with the raspberry and the chocolate. I, 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 I really, I enjoyed this one a lot. And I didn't think I was going to like it either, because I'm not usually a chocolate and fruit person, but the donut is per, per uh, I can't even speak, I got sugar overload. It's like what you said, the donut's cooked perfectly. It is their signature one. Do I think it's the best one that we've had today? No. And I don't know which one is. I'm gonna say either the Grape Ape or the ODB or the the, the, the Tangrific one is Tang my favorite. Tangfastic. Tangfastic. Dang it. Um, it might be the OD, ODP. I don't know. ODB. 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 Sorry. I, based on what we've had here in front of us today, I'm gonna have to agree with you. The top spot goes to the ODB, the yeast donut with the, the chocolate, Oreos, and peanut butter. It's just so delicious and tasty. And that, and I even said, I prefer cake donuts. So the fact that I'm choosing a yeast donut is the best one that we've had of our offering, that's a big deal. I would say my second place, after letting it sit with me, definitely is gonna be the Tangfastic. And then, Rounding out my top three is the grape ape. And heck, I'm already on a roll, so then I'd say the Mexican hot, hot, hot chocolate, followed by the vegan peanut butter and jelly, finally with the voodoo doll at the oh, bottom. man, is that the bottom for you? It's just, I, the blend of the chocolate and the raspberry just doesn't do it for me. That being said, I think, I, I think people who like that flavor combination would love this. We haven't had anything necessarily bad, just potentially stuff that doesn't agree with our our palettes that we have so uh, I, I don't think you can honestly go wrong and the donuts range in prices so that's a, a very cool thing about it too it's not like you walk into a normal donut shop and everything's your one standard price uh, some are more expensive than others I think a couple that we got were around a dollar seventy and let me just pull out my fancy receipt oh is that paper? so yeah it is paper so like the Mexican hot 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 chocolate was 165, the Tang Fastic was dollar 70, the Grape Ape was 2, the ODB was 260, the Voodoo Doll was 320, and what? the vegan one was 295. I understand the vegan being more expensive, but the Voodoo Man. Yeah, I guess it's he's big and yeah, takes the extra work. So it's there's lots of options on top of that too. Uh, it also takes annual pass discounts. There's preset combinations that they have. There was, a, I think, three different boxes that you could just choose. They were in the $20 range, somewhere like closer to 20, somewhere closer to 30. I didn't get the prices on that in front of me, so I can't help you with that, but you don't get to pick and choose your own. You just get what comes in those boxes. What about the coffee? Then, well, then, of course, the final, the big finale is the, the coffin and that's $139 huge. and it was massive and huge and it's something we're gonna get at some point in time oh, maybe you know maybe after the official opening because this is still technically a soft opening but it's been open every day people are loving I it I think Pete's gonna want that coffin I think he's gonna want that too but we're gonna finish up with what we have here and then we'll give you our final thoughts okay we've had some time to digest and uh, I mean I honestly I think sorry I think every one of those donuts was worth it. 
Um, I mean, the vegan one was obviously a little bit different. It's made without eggs. I'm, I'm I, you know, I'm assuming maybe amongst other things. But um, yeah, I, I left with a box of six. Uh, Craig left with another extra three. Two. Like, oh, two. only two? Only for Kylie. Oh, now since I feel she's terrible right about now. myself. Well, I got it for Eli, and I don't. I just got too excited when I was ordering them. Yeah, we're on our post Italy diet already, so this was wrong for me to do in the first place. But we had to come do it. I think it's a big hit. Honestly, it was delicious. Yeah. I know I'll be back many times, especially when I'm looking for uh, something to grab to eat first thing in the morning on my way into Universal Studios. It, so it's something that's definitely going to be worth the wait if there is a wait out yeah. here. I mean, don't wait like three hours. I don't wait that long for anything, but. Don't be scared away by the line. The line moves really quick so far. Uh, but honestly, I, I think it's worth it. So give it a try. Let us know what your favorite donut is when you go through. And I'm hoping they kind of cycle through some flavors too. Maybe they add some as they go. I'm sure the menu will eventually get updated. It won't be the same forever for years. I'm hoping for some holiday selections. Oh. Imagine what they could do with like an eggnog donut or something or a peppermint donut. Yeah. But anyway, it's too early to think about that. Like I said, let us know in the comments what your favorite uh, donuts were if you've been here. If you plan on going here, like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And until next time, we're going to go do some laps around City Walk to walk these donuts off. So we'll see you later. Bye.